there! Good morning, champs! I'm so glad to see you all! What day is it? Oh, it's our last week of February, the month of love. Do you all still remember all the lessons we had this month? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out later with Teacher Denise. I, for one, learned so much from our lessons this month. From what is love to living for God. I hope you're just as excited as I am to recall all of them today. But of course, before that, beautiful time in everything he made. A time to sleep and a time to be awake. A time to play, but now is our time to pray. So put your hands together and let's say our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, the one who truly loves us, we praise you, Lord, and we thank you for this day. Lord, help and guide us to learn more about your word and the things you want us to know. This we pray in your name. Amen. God so loving, God so true, I know you're ready to worship, and so I do. Ready your hearts, ready your song, reach out to heaven, come on, sing along.
Teacher Denise, and what a beautiful day it is to talk about love. How are we all doing today? Oh, that's very good then. Give me a thumbs up if you're all ready to talk about today's lessons. Okay, very good. I see a lot of thumbs up. So looking back at all the lessons we learned this month of February, do you guys have a favorite? How about Teacher Giselle's What is Love? Or Teacher Kara's Responding in Love? Or do you guys still remember Teacher Rox's How to Live in God? All right, all right. I'll give you guys some time to pick one. But why don't we go back and review all of them so you can pick which one your favorite is. How about that? Okay? Okay! Now, Teacher Giselle taught us about what love is. Do you guys still remember all of them? I remember that we learned that love is patient, love is kind, love is never jealous, love is never rude or angry, love never keeps records of wrongs, but love trusts and love hopes and love protects. But teacher Denise, how can we remember all of them? There's so many. That's a good question, dear. Well, teacher Giselle said, if you ever forget how love looks like or what love feels like, just look up to Jesus because he is the most perfect representation or example of love. Why? Because he is love himself. All right, now moving on to our next lesson, which was with teacher Kara. She taught us how to respond in love. Now, I really like this lesson because sometimes these lessons are the ones that really remind us of who Jesus is. Just like when people hurt us or are being mean to us, or even destroy our toys. We have two options. We can either respond like how Jesus would or not. So what would Jesus do? He would respond in love. And what is love again? Love is patient, love is kind, never angry, and always, always forgives. Just like how Jesus forgave us from all the sins we've committed. Okay, so moving on to our third and final lesson this month, which was last week, Teacher Rox taught us how to live in God. Now, do you all still remember the keys? Keys are very, very useful. They open doors, they open things to bring us to the places we need to be and so we can do the things we need to get done. But the most important question is what is our key to heaven? Now, so we can go to heaven, we need to live in God. But how do we live in God? What's the key to live in God? All right, it's our Bibles, the Word of God. It helps us, reminds us, and always guides us to live in God. Okay, so I think we've gone through all our lessons already. So we did Teacher Giselle's What is Love? Check. Teacher Karis Respond in Love? Check. And Teacher Rock says how to live in God. Check. Now, have you picked a favorite yet? Uh-huh. Okay, so whether your favorite lesson is remembering what love is, or responding in love and forgive, or to read your Bible every day so you can live in God, we should all know that all these lessons are not just for remembering, but to apply 
every day in our lives. So I hope you all do that. I guess that's all the time we have for today. I hope you all had fun and apply all the lessons we learned this month. See you again next week. Hello friends. Today is the last Saturday of February and we are going to do a review on our memory verse. Hmm. Can you still remember our memory verse? Yes? No? Well, don't you worry because you and I will be doing it together and learning is so much fun! Our first memory verse is in the book of Corinthians. Let's read it together. First, Corinthians Chapter 13, verse 13. So this, three things, continue forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Let's read it together one more time. First, Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 13. So this, three things, continue forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Great job! Now, let's see if we are able to remember it. So friends, what are the three things that continue forever? Forever. Now, on to our second memory verse. Our second memory verse is in the book of Romans. Let's read it together. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 But Christ died for us while we were still sinners. In this way, God shows His great love for us. Great job! Let's read it together one more time. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 But Christ died for us while we were still sinners. In this way, God shows His great love for us. Now, let's see if we are able to understand it. So friends, is God's love great? That's true! God's love is great indeed! Our last verse, it is in the book of John. Let's read it together. John chapter 14 verse 23. Jesus answered, If anyone loves me, then he will obey my teaching. My Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Let's read it together one more time. 
but this time, let's pay more attention to the mark red. John chapter 14 verse 23 Jesus answered, If anyone loves me, then he will obey my teaching. My Father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. Now, let's see if we are able to remember it. Fill in the blanks for this memory verse. Don't you worry, there are clues provided for each word. On our first clue, it symbolizes heart. What word symbolizes heart? Hmm. That's right! It's love! For our second clue, it represents from listening, applying, and doing it in your everyday life. That's right! It is obey! Next, for our next clue, this represents a relationship between, in the picture, a daughter and a... And it also represents our relationship with God. That's right! It's Father! Great job! Now, we have only two words left. For our next clue, this one is easier. It's just right under our nose. That's right! The word is calm! And for our last clue, we have a picture of a house. Then, if the family lives in the house for quite some time and fill it with love, joy, peace, it becomes a home. That's right! Wow, that was so much fun! Indeed, learning memory verses together is fun! Always remember friends, that no matter what, Jesus loves you. His love is the same yesterday, today, and you got that right, forever! Let us always be obedient children of His. I'll see you next time! Bye-bye! Well, hello once again, Chams. I hope you all learned and will keep in your hearts all the lessons we learned this month of love. But as the month of love comes to an end, we must always remember that God's love is eternal. And it doesn't matter what month it is, whether it's February, May, or December, whether it's summer, school days, or Christmas. Our God is timeless, and so is His love for us. So let us end today with a prayer. Put your hands together and close your eyes. Our dear Father God, our Lord Jesus, thank you for your unconditional love. Though this month of love will come to an end, your love for us never will. Thank you, Lord. Help us 
to live like you and to love like you. This we pray in your name. Amen. Thank you for being with us children the entire month of February. Be excited for our next series. Hope to see you. Remember, Jesus loves you and I likewise too. See you!